Action. So, the herbs are probably ready. It has been about 40 degrees in here in this oven. And uh, now I'm going to see if they are dry with uh, the help of my mortar. First a little dandelion leaf. Looking very nice. Just smash it around a little. Totally super dry. Uh, immediately converts into a very fine powder. I'm going to make a little demonstration here. Yeah. <laughs> I wish that it was more visible than it was. Yeah, anyway, that worked. And uh, let's see how the chickweed did. Same thing there, totally super dry. Very powdery. And uh, yeah, when it comes to the use of uh, these uh, kinds of things, uh, you either make a cold brewed herbal tea, preferably with distilled water. You just uh, turn it into a powder and uh, put it into water and let it sit for like I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour maybe or so. Uh, and uh, then you just pour it into some kind of, I don't know, this kind of device or something. Uh, Multi-use uh, strainer or filter in uh, preferably organic material. Mm, or you just put the fine powder in water, let it sit for like uh, 45 minutes to an hour and then you just drink it. It's up to you. And when it comes to storage, I recommend that you store them separately, either in dry glass jars or in uh, stainless steel containers or uh, paper bags. Uh, in their whole format, like so. You simply put them in as they are directly from your little drying operation here. Of course you can also see if condense starts to build up inside of the jar when you seal it, but it is highly unlikely that it will do that uh, if you have dried it like this uh, approximately 40 degrees Celsius for about four hours. Of course it varies with uh, the temperature, but you just test it and grind it in a mortar and then you will see if it's uh, finished or not. This is just a small batch, but uh, yeah, it's not totally insignificant. Ah, it's hard to see, but uh, yeah, I store it in the whole format like that and put the lid on or in stainless steel or in paper, sealed. And uh, yeah, of course you can mark it up or whatever to know what is what. And when you are going to use it, you take out the leaves and you motorize them. Put them into water, preferably distilled. And uh, let it stand for 45 minutes to one hour and then either you filter it or you drink it as it is.
yeah, that's basically it. Super simple, extremely simple, I would say. And uh, yeah, when it comes to selling them, of course, uh, certain conditions has to be met. You have to have some kind of company and you have to follow the rules for uh, producing food. But of course you can just uh, contact uh, some kind of authority that uh, pulls the threads in these kinds of situations and uh, mail them or ask them which conditions need to be met. I know that in certain cases you can produce foods in your home kitchen for a company. But uh, check it out. Otherwise the simplest thing is of course just to use it yourself or give it away to someone. Use part of it and give some of it away or whatever. Uh, it is highly likely to benefit you if you give it away. Not that you should give it away with the intention of getting something back. But yeah, you know how it works. Make no deposit and get no return. <laughs> it's the case. Yeah, anyway. This is very simple and it took you way shorter time than I had imagined that it would it would do. So uh, yeah, these are the basic guidelines. Raw food. And uh, you can use it uh, of course as some kind of seasoning as well, but um, I think that this is one of the best uses. It's hard to see but uh, the it's a very small amount in here of course as well. I'm going to grind up some more. You don't want to underdo herbs, wild edible herbs, of course. Don't overdo them either and eat and drink in variation and so on. But uh, yeah, it's already starting to turn kind of green here and I'm going to put in some more herbs. Of course you can do a tea or powder drink from one sort or several sorts. This is just an example but the basic principle is very simple and this works. It's actually a very nice method since it only took like for hours and I don't think that it will pull too much electricity on that. So, here we go.